So, hi everyone. Um, my name is uh, Julian. I'm going to present CID Gravity. Uh, CID Gravity actually is a live product. Uh, this is a decentralized storage marketplace. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this slide because actually it's uh, overlapping with what um, Paul just mentioned before, but like we all know that there is a, central, um, a centralized market. Um, there is growth challenge for them. There is a trust challenge with them. And uh, we have like AI we is going to amplify. Um, yeah, we have AI who is going to amplify the, these two challenges. That speed is okay? Yeah, okay. So, um, of course, uh, the solution is uh, decentralized storage. We are in this space for like uh, two years. Uh, we yeah, we de start developing CID Gravity in 2021. And uh, what we identified with the clients we work with is like there's some missing features to the decentralized web um, that are listed on the left. So the, we are, it's, it's complex, right? Uh, so they need, clients need user-friendly interface they need like small integration costs, so seamless integration. And it's also difficult in the decentralized web to find the right uh, storage partner. So <clears throat> what CID Gravity is, it's a uh, front end for uh, enterprise to the decentralized web. So when we say front end, which means like we want to make the decentralized storage easy, but we want to keep it decentralized, so not be another like central product. So how do you consume CID Gravity? Is like if you are an integrator, an enterprise, or a, a developer, um, you use uh, our service to find storage providers, book capacity with them, track their data lifecycle, and um, soon you will get access to an uh, automatic data cap allocation uh, to get like, um, what we could say, free credits to the network at some point. Um, so that's what we do with the service, but all the data will remain fully decentralized, which means like the clients send the data directly to the storage provider and retrieve the data directly from them. To make it even more easy, we provide a Web2 gateway you can use that um, mean that you don't need to understand anything about Filecoin. The gateway will manage everything for you. Um, the benefits of using CID Gravity for providers, it's first they get new clients. So the clients look at our marketplace and they may find storage providers appealing and they start storing data to them. But you can also manage per client pricing, per client priority. I will show that in the demo and also access control. Um, it also provides billing details so you know how much data each client are storing to your infrastructure every month and you can bill based on that. Um, and we have a lot, a lot of dashboards and analytics uh, built in. Oh. Wait for some. Good. So, so for clients, um, <clears throat> we first we fully remove the complexity of uh, using Filecoin. Everything is uh, consumed through a, a web UI. Um, it's really accelerate your integration with Filecoin. I will show you right after how um, a Web2 product is going to be integrated in Filecoin in just five minutes. Um, we reduce the infrastructure cost. Uh, you don't need to run any node, nothing, just one unique gateway. Um, and you already get access to um, 200 storage miners uh, that can um, that are already using CID Gravity. So, um, <clears throat> so today, uh, a few figures just to, for you to understand where we stand. 
Uh, we have 90% of the top storage providers that are running our software. When we say 90% of top storage providers, it's top storage providers that are actually accepting deals. Uh, we manage 44 million transactions on the network, and we have more than 400 petabytes of QAP that are currently live on the network and onboarding with CID Gravity. Uh, and we have 200 storage providers uh, using our product through all the different regions. We are a um, European team, it's a European product. Uh, we have 360 understanding of Filecoin. So actually we are in this space since the launch of Filecoin. Uh, we are data allocators since uh, round one. So we've been done data allocation since the beginning of the network. And we are like a contributor and we manage uh, SPs as well. So we really understand that challenge being SP ourselves. It's time for the demo, one hand, or one hand demo. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. That's why I'm here. Um, so the first thing I want to show you, so that's a, that's a live miner. Uh, everything is on mainnet, all right? So everything you're gonna see that now is real data. Um, so I want to show you first how it looks like as a storage provider to manage your daily activity using CID Gravity. And then I will do the same thing for clients and I will show you an integration. I'm good on time. That's what, the remaining time? Okay. So, so as a storage provider, the first thing you can do with CID Gravity is like managing your clients. So what you can see here is like, we have a bunch of clients. Um, it's the, first, they are named, they are not just address. And then for each client, you can have a different pricing uh, and different acceptance criteria. So you can differentiate your clients, manage different contracts and different conditions with them, and even prioritize your clients in your ceiling pipeline. Of course. You want me to ch switch to Chinese? Yes. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if it's not too small, um, but yeah. So, um, what, uh, okay. So, in terms of price, so yeah. So that's what I want to show. The beauty of this is like, if you manage, if you're an SP, I don't know if there is any SP in the room, is there any SP? One? Many, but probably. Okay. So as an SP, using Lotus or using Venus, uh, you, you may see that managing your ceiling pipeline is really like a pain. Um, because like if you receive too many deals, that may crash your whole infrastructure. So I show you here an example of um, acceptance logic that we put in place. So here we have like, you say that if my sync pipeline is 20, uh, I don't know, it's that's 20 um, um, sectors, uh, and if I have any errors, uh, more than two errors, and if we are not in the uh, working days, uh, working hours, working days, uh, then I will stop accepting deals. So that's just protecting your infrastructure, just putting this in place. But as you can do that per client, you can priori start prioritizing your client and give, yes, a strong focus on your best clients. Um, some example of dashboards. Uh, oh, it's really slow. Yeah, the dashboard doesn't work. That's maybe better like this for now. Um, yeah, good. Um, so what, what you get access directly access to in a very visual way, you get access to all that the KPIs that are important to see on your um, um, KPI against your clients, right? 
So you see your availability that is major uh, like every minute, uh, your availability over time. You can see your ceiling pipeline. Um, and on which dashboard am I? Sorry. Je ne plus le dashboard. Um, yeah, there we go. Give me more times. So here, like on the last months, uh, you can you can have a quick visualization on who are the best client, how much data they on board, uh, which are the one that uh, you are not working that great with. So you may contact them. Um, you can see who are the best pricing model you used and, and a lot, a lot of dashboards on the activity and how much data you onboard. Um, yeah, that's for the storage provider. Um, now, if you are a client and you want to use CID Gravity, the first things you do is like, well, how my data will be like distributed and how it's going to work with other um, uh, with my partners I'm working with. So here you can see that on this dashboard very quickly that this data set has been really distributed, right? So we have like 32 storage providers here that are actually storing this data. Um, and this is completely spread across all of these because we have like, most of the time we have eight and nine copies of replicas of the data on the network, which is across all these bunch of SPs. Um, and how do you decide who you work with? You just create a very easy onboarding policy. So this onboarding policy is saying like, I want one copy all the time on this one. And then I don't care, just give me 20 copies of my data across the network. And doing so, you just get this huge spread of data and you, your data is really decentralized. Um, and that's all you need to do. Um, what I want to show you is very quickly is uh, an integration uh, with another product using our gateway. So for those who don't know Nextcloud, uh, Nextcloud is um, on-prem um, Dropbox-like. So you just deploy this service and um, you directly get access to uh, a Dropbox style. So you have like, you can, all the data is synced between all your different devices and, and web interface. Um, and what we did is like, we deploy Nextcloud for this uh, presentation and uh, we connect it with our gateway directly to Filecoin. That, took, that, that really took five minutes. This was just configuration. And behind the scene, that's a bit, a bit complex, but I really think it's important to cover that. So the users, they just sync their data to, to Nextcloud and Nextcloud just read right to the gateway. That's Web2. This is purely Web2 product and that's just going to our Web2 gateway. And doing that, the gateway manage everything related to Filecoin. So it, it, spread the, it spread the data based on the settings you had in CID Gravity and that's it. That's the only thing you need to do. And you can just read right, get your access. It's completely transparent for users that the data is on the decentralized web. But if the, at some point this instance disappeared, so if CID Gravity is not available, you get all the information to retrieve the data without this component. So it's purely decentralized and you can still get access to your data. Um, yeah, so the demo. Um, so what we did is like, this is really Nextcloud, okay? Um, that's local data that are on Nextcloud and we connect our gateway here. So everything when you click on this folder is directly on Filecoin. So I want to say that there is no cache on this server. So every time you see some, a file, it's directly retrieved from Filecoin. So let's say I store a lot of photos actually. Um, So the name of the file, uh, everything is on Filecoin. When you click on a picture, it's directly downloaded through the gateway. So there is no difference storing to this or storing to any S3. I mean, it's 
And yeah, that, that's how you use the gateway and what you get after that. So if you are, um, yeah. See, so if you want to store data on Filecoin, if you want to integrate with Filecoin, um, we, I mean, all these APIs are fully documented on our website and so on. So please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, and um, yeah, that's it for CID Gravity. Do you have any questions? Questions? Uh, Thank you. Uh,